In this video, we'll talk about how to set a fault reset function on the ATV212 drive. Before we get started, I want to mention that the drive already has a fault reset function by if the drive is by itself open, normally open style, um, not an enclosed drive. The F uh, terminal uh, RES actually is already programmed as a fault reset, which is an F113 parameter. I'm about to show that in a second. But yeah, keep that in mind that the RES is normally already programmed as a fault reset, but in the event that you want a different terminal like R, uh, or if it's not been, if it's been changed and you want to set it back, the RES parameter back to how it was, here's how you do it regardless. So from your main display, you press the mode key, and then you see AUF, you arrow down into F and Frank, dash, 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 you enter on this, and then, Press too fast there. And then you go up to F113. Okay, F113 is for the RES terminal. How F112 is for the R and F111 is for the F. So RES is at F113. So right now it's actually disabled. So we can go ahead and set it to a value of 10, which is a fault reset. And as you can see, once you enter on that, it will flash back and forth and you'll go back to F113. So, right now we have programmed our F13 uh, as a 10, which is based on the RES terminal as a fault reset. So in the event of a fault, you can go ahead and trigger your RES terminal, as you can see with the terminal right here. So, just realize that not every single fault can be fault reset. Some faults require you to actually power cycle. Things like overload fault are more critical faults and um, and will actually require power cycling. But regardless, this is how you program an ATV212 to have a fault reset function. 